one of the things that I would say is the governor's proposed two different things. One is he did propose share revenue increases in both of the last two biennial budgets, but it actually has been 20 long years since there's been an increase in share revenue, and that's unacceptable. And, and let me tell you something, when we were debating the uh, eliminating the personal property taxes, one of the things that quite a few mayors approached us on is that let's at least have some growth in that element. And I know as we talked to legislative leaders, they said, no, we're not gonna do that, but if people want to uh, you know, need more, they should just come and ask us. I said, they've asked you for 20 years. So what's gonna change? Looking at manufacturing and recovery, which is one of our principal industries, of course, we're the second most uh, manufacturing intensive state in the country. Uh, we're still seeing increases in manufacturing, although it's at a reduced pace. Right now, in some respects, you're constrained by parts and labor as much as anything else. Uh, that's actually what's holding it back. Overall production is actually above pre-pandemic levels at this point and still increasing. He did have a hearing on local option sales taxes, and the governor believes that would be another option. Now, to pass it, you would have to have a referendum. So the people of the community would have to say that, yes, we would like our sales tax to go up to offset property taxes and to be able to help mayors to hire more police or fire or whatever other needs might exist when you, within each community. So I, I'm glad that we at least have one hearing on it. I know there's a stronger push now to you know, better diversify funding sources for communities because now you're strictly dependent on property taxes, which for people on fixed income, senior citizens, I mean, it makes it very hard for them. For Wisconsin, manufacturing real GDP, this is my personal favorite. You can see the impact of where we had full, the impact of both the Great Recession and the flood of imports and what that meant for Wisconsin manufacturing. The prior peak for Wisconsin manufacturing real GDP was uh, first quarter 2006. We did not get back to that level until fourth quarter 2019, and then the pandemic hit, but we have accelerated way past that and we hit a record high in 2021, fourth quarter. That's not a given, not every state did that. Only 20 states can say they have hit new peak by that time period.